Hey YouTube, this is Thinking of Pi, and today I'll be showing you how to use a four digit seven segment LED display with your Raspberry Pi. It's very similar to last week's project with the single digit version, but there are four digits so it's a little bit more complicated. So let's go take a look at it and I'll see if I can break it down for you. So at first glance here, this probably looks like just a big mess of wires. It's not much different from the single digit version though. We've got our display right here. Got all of our resistors hooked up to it. We've got our shift register. We also have the addition of these four transistors, which I'll talk about in a moment. First, I wanna talk about the shift register. It is, um, it is in there opposite of how it has been in the past because all of our outputs are down here on the bottom side of it. And on our display, the majority of our inputs are going to be on this side of the display. There's actually 12 pins. Eight of them are the same as the single digit version. Those will be controlling the individual segments. And then we have four common anodes, which are going to be used for controlling which segment is actually lit up. Now, each of the common anodes goes to one of the transistors over here, and those are connected to GPIOs down here. And what we're going to be doing is using the transistors to switch that segment, that uh, digit, on or off. And only one digit's actually on at a time, but we're switching back and forth so quickly that you can't see it, so all four digits appear to be illuminated at the same time. Let's head over to the computer and I'll show you some code and we'll basically turn this thing into a stopwatch. So here's the code. Um, most of this is similar from the previous shift register stuff we've done, but um, we've got our data, latch, clock pins, we've got our numbers. We'll be using the same format with the numbers with the 8-bit codes to tell the display which ones we want off rather than which ones we want on. We do have our digit pins right here, and we've got a counter, and then we've got a timer, so that'll all be translated into the time that'll be displayed. So we've got our setup and our shift functionality. So this part right here, the select digit object, is going to tell us uh, which digit is which and how to turn it on. The display object right here actually switches it on using the shift register and then uh, pauses for a brief moment, 0 0.003 seconds or three milliseconds. That's the amount of time that that digit is actually going to be on. And then it switches it off and switches to the next digit and just cycles through each of the digits. We've got a timer object right here that's actually going to be doing the counting. And then we'll actually be printing the counter information in the shell. So if this is successful, we're going to have the same number in the shell as what's showing on the display. I think that's about it for the code. So uh, let's run this and see if it works. There it goes. Got some error messages at the beginning there because I didn't reset this from the last time I ran it. But everything seems to be working the way it should. We're getting numbers on the display, we're getting numbers in the shell, and that's all there is to it. It's a lot more simple than it looks. I will be putting the uh, the code and the schematic and the wiring diagram all in the description below. So if you want to check those out, uh, see it in more detail. I know it's kind of hard to see on the video with all the wires in the way and stuff as to where everything is going. There's a lot of stuff going on on that board. Um, but that's all I've got for today. Next week, I will be showing you how to use an 8x8 LED matrix. Now that uses uh, 16 different pins and 
Our shift register only has eight. So we'll actually need to use two shift registers. And I'm really excited to show you how to stack shift registers when you need even more outputs. And you can stack them indefinitely. So I'm excited to show you. And I hope you check it out next week. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And comment below. I'd love to read your comments. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Until then, I will talk to you all next week. Thanks.